Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in the Kingdom of Morocco for a short private visit. He was received on arrival by the Moroccan Prime Minister Saad al Din al Othmani, Rabat Sali Kenitra Wali, Mohamed Mahedia, Military Contingent Commander General Abdullah Boutaleb, Bahrain Ambassador to Morocco Khaled Salman al Musalam, along with other senior officials. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabiya Palace today a number of intellectuals, businessmen and citizens, where he reviewed with them local issues as well as the latest regional and international developments. He affirmed that the government's main goals are to provide prosperity to the citizens, maintain security and stability and build a strong society. He also asserted the government's efforts to enhance the living standards of citizens. The Premier added that the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to enhance the citizens' living standards serve as guidelines for the government to follow and implement. His Royal Highness noted the government's approach to expanding projects that support the health sector and treatment services, especially the establishment of health centres and hospitals, according to the latest technology to provide citizens with high quality health services. He added that the government is working on reinforcing the tourism sector by investing the kingdom's history and culture to stimulate tourism in order to provide citizens with touristic and entertainment attractions as well as to increase visitors and investment in the tourism sector. The Premier called for an intensification of efforts to reinforce the Kingdom's status as a leading nation in the field of investment and commerce in the region. He affirmed that the government continues to stimulate the economy and businessmen to initiate large development projects that will benefit the national economy. His Royal Highness also praised the efforts of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to serve the Hajj pilgrims and facilitate the performance of the holy rituals. Finally, he hailed Saudi Arabia's pivotal role in serving Muslims and the Islamic nation. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister today received at Gudabiya Palace the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to the Kingdom, Abdul Reda Abdullah Al Khuri, who delivered to His Royal Highness a letter from the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, concerning the deep historic relations between the two countries and containing an invitation to His Royal Highness to attend the Formula One Grand Prix race held in Abu Dhabi. His Royal Highness affirmed the solidarity of 
Bahraini-Emirati relations, noting that they represent a model of brotherhood and achieve the joint interests of the people of both nations. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, hailing his role and efforts in the sporting field. The Governor of the Southern Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, visited today Al Fatah Secondary Boys School in the presence of the Minister of Education, Rashid bin Ali Al Nuemi. Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali affirmed that the government's interest in the education sector reflects the leadership's keenness to prioritise citizens who are the cornerstone of sustainable development in the kingdom. Hailing the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, during his last visit to the Southern Governorate to familiarise the citizens with the ongoing going development in various sectors, including education. Sheikh Khalifa highlighted the importance of establishing educational facilities for the various educational stages and the necessity of their meeting the needs of all cities and villages in the Southern Governorate, noting the population growth it witnesses as a result of the residential and investment projects implemented. For his part, the Minister commended the keenness of Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali and his follow-up on the Governorate's educational needs asserting that the Ministry will work to meet the needs of the Governor's residents. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah. And let's start with the local stocks as the Bahrain All Shares Index has closed at 1,302.11 points, marking a decrease of 0 0.20 points below the previous closing. The decrease was due to the fall in the investment sector and investors traded mainly in the closed companies with 73.29% of total shares. 23 transactions included 1,494,844 shares worth 440,999 Bahraini dinars.